Have you ever wondered how a smart TV is made? Behind every ultra-thin screen that illuminates our homes lies an impressively precise industrial process where technology, automation and human labor combine to bring millions of moving images to life. We will travel to the heart of one of Samsung's most advanced factories to discover how, step-by-step, -step, smart TV LEDs are assembled, from the creation of the panel to the final quality tests. The history of television is, in itself, a history of innovation. From those bulky black-and-white sets of the mid-20th century, through the arrival of colour in the 1960s, to the flat screens of the 1990s, each technological leap completely transformed the way people enjoy entertainment. And just when it seemed that nothing more revolutionary could happen, LED televisions emerged in the 2000s, a game-changing development. Thanks to light-emitting diodes, screens became thinner, colours more vibrant, and power consumption much lower. But the real leap forward came when these screens became smart, capable of connecting to the internet, downloading apps, and accessing platforms like Netflix, YouTube, and Amazon Prime Video. Televisions ceased to be mere image receivers and became true entertainment and connectivity hubs within the home. Today, in the age of 4K and 8K resolutions, televisions are advanced engineering marvels, ultra-thin with hyper-realistic colors, surround sound and direct connectivity to virtual assistants and smart devices. But how is a modern smart TV actually made? What lies behind that seemingly magical screen? The first step in manufacturing an LED smart TV is producing the panel, the most complex and delicate component of the entire system. This panel is primarily composed of a liquid crystal display, LCD, a substance that changes its orientation when it receives an electric current, allowing control over the passage of light and, therefore, the formation of images. This screen is created using two ultra-thin sheets of glass, almost as thin as a sheet of paper, joined together like the two sides of a sandwich. A carefully distributed layer of liquid crystal is placed between them. This material acts as a kind of dynamic filter that regulates the amount of light passing through each point on the screen, creating the millions of pixels that form the images we see. But the real magic happens inside. Between those layers is an array of thin film transistors, TFTS, tiny electronic switches that control the behavior of each pixel individually. Each transistor is responsible for deciding what color and brightness level that exact point in the image should have, thousands of times per second. Color filters, red, green and blue, RGB, are also applied to one of the glass panels. These are the primary colors of light, and when combined in different proportions, they generate millions of possible shades. It is thanks to them that a scene from a movie, a football match or a video game looks so realistic and full of nuance. The manufacturing process for these panels takes place in clean rooms, sealed environments where the amount of airborne particles is extremely controlled. A single speck of dust could ruin an entire panel, so technicians wear special suits, gloves and masks, while high-precision robots place each component with millimeter accuracy. Once the panel structure is complete, optical tests are performed to verify that the liquid crystals react correctly to electrical signals. Engineers analyze uniformity, contrast and color response, adjusting the parameters until the image meets Samsung's demanding quality standards. Once the LCD panel is ready, it's time to add light. This is where LEDs, light-emitting diodes, come into play. The tiny light-emitting diodes that illuminate the entire screen surface. These aren't placed directly behind each pixel, but rather arranged in strips or arrays distributed along the inner frame of the television. Each LED strip is installed by automated robots that position the diodes with absolute precision. These computerized systems ensure that the distance between each LED is perfect, as any error could result in areas of greater brightness or darkness. The function of the LEDs is essential. They don't generate an image, but they do provide the base light that the liquid crystals modulate to form visible images. The light passes through the panel and the color filters, producing the final tones we see. To achieve uniform distribution, a special sheet of transparent plastic material known as plexiglass or a light-diffusing guide is used. This component disperses the LED light evenly, preventing differences in intensity or shadows. The result is a bright, homogeneous screen with impeccable contrast across its entire area. 
Furthermore, in its high-end models, Samsung implements dynamic backlight control systems capable of adjusting the intensity of the LEDs in specific areas of the panel. This allows for deeper blacks and brighter whites, creating a stunning visual effect known as High Dynamic Range HDR. With the screen and LEDs ready, it's time for the electronic brain. Here, the printed circuit boards, PCBS, are manufactured and installed, which are responsible for controlling all the television's functions. Each Samsung Smart TV has at least two main boards installed. The main board, which houses most of the logic circuitry, contains the central processor, memory chips and connection modules that allow the television to receive, decode and display the video signal at the highest possible quality. This board also manages the internet connection via Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable and coordinates all the applications of the television's operating system. The power board is responsible for transforming and distributing electrical current to the different components. It regulates the voltage reaching the LEDs, the processor and the speakers, ensuring a stable supply that prevents overloads or fluctuations. Although the manufacturing of these circuit boards relies on automated systems, the final assembly still requires human intervention. Specialized operators place the electronic components one by one, transistors, resistors, microchips, capacitors and connectors. Then each point undergoes a controlled soldering process using machines that apply precise heat to join the pieces without damaging the circuits. Once completed, the circuit boards are inspected using microscopic cameras and X-ray systems to detect any connection faults. This phase is critical. A single defective solder point could cause the television to malfunction completely. With the electronic system complete, the television begins to take shape. At this stage, the plastic casings and outer frames are manufactured, which not only serve an aesthetic function, but also protect the delicate internal components. These parts are created using high-pressure plastic injection molding, the molten material is poured into metal moulds with millimetre precision to form the back, side edges and base of the television. The plastic used by Samsung is lightweight yet highly resistant with additives that make it fire retardant and durable. The moulds are designed for each specific model and size, from 32-inch televisions to giant 85-inch screens. Once the parts are removed from the mould, they pass through an automated cooling and polishing line, where burrs are removed and a scratch-resistant coating is applied. Then, the panels, circuits and housings are assembled with extreme precision, ensuring a perfect fit between the parts. Robots also play a role here, screwing the frames together, sealing the joints and attaching the HDM1, USB and power connectors. The entire process is automated to reduce human error and ensure maximum uniformity across all units. Once the TV is fully assembled, one of the most important phases begins – quality testing. Every smart TV undergoes a rigorous set of checks designed to detect even the slightest defect. First, an image test is performed, in which the functionality of each pixel on the panel is examined. High-sensitivity optical inspection equipment checks the entire surface for dead pixels, blemishes or colour irregularities. If a defect is found, the unit is immediately removed for repair or disposal. Next comes the sound test. The built-in speakers are subjected to different tones and frequencies to ensure the audio is clean, balanced and distortion-free. The bass, mid-range and treble response are analysed, as well as the synchronisation between image and sound. Next, an electrical test is performed to verify the stability of the internal current, the protection systems and the connections between the boards. They ensure there are no short circuits, current leaks or overheating. At Samsung's plants, the quality control laboratories have closed chambers that reproduce different environmental conditions – temperature, humidity, dust or vibration – to check that the televisions work perfectly even in extreme climates. With the hardware approved, the next step is to install the software, the part that turns the TV into a true smart TV. In this phase, Samsung developed operating systems, such as Tizen OS, are loaded, enabling internet connectivity, app downloads and content personalization. The software controls everything from brightness and contrast to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, as well as voice recognition. Specialized technicians perform tests to ensure that the television responds correctly to remote control commands, connects seamlessly to the network and runs applications without interruption. The process also includes security updates, 
automatic color calibration, and synchronization with external devices such as phones, consoles, or smart speakers. Once each television has passed all the tests, the final stage arrives, packaging and preparation for shipment. The televisions are carefully placed inside reinforced cardboard boxes designed to withstand the weight and protect them from bumps or drops. Inside, molded foam blocks are added to cushion impacts and keep the screen securely in place. Each box includes the essential accessories, the power cord, mounting screws, remote control, batteries and user manual. Everything is checked one last time before the package is sealed. Next, the televisions move to the palletizing area, where robots arrange them on loading platforms. From there, specially equipped trucks transport them to distribution centers and retail stores in various countries. The journey of each unit can cover thousands of kilometers, from factories in South Korea, Vietnam or Mexico, to homes all over the world. And when the consumer finally opens the box, turns on the television, and sees it come to life with vibrant colors and immersive sound, they can hardly imagine the incredible chain of processes, people and technologies that made that moment possible. Every day, Samsung's production plants work tirelessly, manufacturing thousands of smart TV LED televisions that reach homes in every corner of the planet. Behind each unit lies a perfect combination of automation, advanced engineering and human talent, a balance that allows glass, plastic and tiny electronic components to be transformed into screens capable of displaying sharp images, vivid colors and surround sound. This process not only represents a technological feat, but also a symbol of human ingenuity. The ability to turn simple materials into devices that connect millions of people with the art, information and entertainment of the modern world.